Hi there, Paul Kirtley here, author of Paul Kirtley's blog, the leading source of wilderness bushcraft advice and information on the net, and founder of Frontier Bushcraft, the award-winning bushcraft school. Now, in teaching people on courses and leading people on expeditions, what I find is that a lot of people are not particularly confident with their knots. They think there are a lot to learn, they see them all as distinct knots, and they don't know where to start. The thing is, there are a few knots that, if you know them, will get you a long way, and they form the basis of learning other knots as well. And one of the most important ones to know is also this most simple knot to tie. It's the simplest in the world that you could think of, and most people actually do already know how to tie it. If you ask them to tie a knot, this is the knot that they will tie. The knot in question is the overhand knot, and if I were to ask you to tie the simplest knot you could think of, you'd likely tie that knot and that's the overhand knot and that can be used to tie just a simple stopper in the end of a piece of cord like so that can be useful in various applications also we can tie a loop with it so we double the cord over create a bite like so and then we tie that same knot again the overhand knot just with the cord doubled over we create a fixed loop like so and the sun's coming out nicely now you can see that very very clearly and if we want to strengthen that knot with an extra stopper to stop the tail slipping through the knot we can put another overhand knot there it's highly unlikely to slip through but that's something we could do and again there's lots of applications for loops for hanging things for fixing things what have you very very useful things now to do and all done just with overhand knots I might want to um, create a simple fixed loop for a lanyard and that might be for example on something like this spoon here. Um, you can see I've got a, a little lanyard and that allows me to hang it, on, uh, hang it up on a tree or on a branch so it's not kicking around um, just on the ground or, or getting lost. Um, and that's just tied off with an overhand loop at the end and I'll show you how to do that. So we've got... Um, our two ends of the cord that we want to we want to tie off and we simply bring those together and we tie an overhand knot there in the end like so like so and there's our fixed end and there's our lanyard just like on the spoon very very simple we can make an even neater join than that um, maybe we want a very strong join on a fixed lanyard like on a pocket knife like so and we don't want that knot to come undone and we also want it to be neat then we can um, we can use our overhand knot in a slightly different way to create what's known as a fisherman's knot let me just find the other end like so so i've got the two ends and rather than tying them off together like that like we did um, with a spoon example here we're going to bring them parallel and i'm going to tie that around here like so and through there and you'll see that that is an overhand knot. If I pull that through, it's just an overhand knot. It's the first knot that we tied in this video, overhand knot, but it's tied around the other cord. I'll do that again so you can see it again. So we tie that around like so, and through and into, into there. And then we're gonna do a symmetrical thing on the other side, tie another overhand knot but around the other cord. So we've got one knot tied in the end of each piece of cord around the, the other piece respectively and then we can pull those together and they'll mate up very nicely and butt up against each other and I can pull that really tight and that's going to be very difficult to come undone. I can make these tails, these tails here even shorter and that will be a very neat join indeed and something that's going to be very difficult to come undone. And that's exactly what we want on our important tools. We want maybe a, a pocket knife fixed to a clip on our belt or something that's not going to come undone. That's what we're going to use there. We can do a variation on that that's um, even even a little bit nicer looking, and I'll show you how to do that. The sun's gone in again now, unfortunately. But we go around, we can do our single fisherman's there. We do our, our overhand knot there. Now a little variation, we're gonna go around twice. This is no longer an overhand knot, but we go through there. So we've gone around twice and through, like so. The sun's coming out again. Um, we're gonna go around once and twice and through here. For those of you that have done any climbing, if you do the stopper knot that you do after your re-threaded figure of eight, that's effectively what you tie in here. And then you're pulling those two in together. And that's very, very neat and very tidy and even better um, in, terms of, um, 
in terms of fixing it as a nice neat lanyard finish than the than the single fisherman's and that's exactly what i've got here on my um falcon even um that has been tied for several years it's never come undone and um i know that that's going to be secure on there for my for my pocket knife really good not to know and then one more thing that we could use the um the overhand knot for i'll just undo this you can see even i didn't pull it that hard but it starts to become quite difficult to undo it takes a bit of unpicking we can create a sliding knot a slip knot we take the end of the piece of cord and then we're going to tie an overhand knot around like so like that and that creates a slip knot there and if we want to be doubly sure that that cord that tail is not going to slip through the knot then i can tie just an overhand knot in the end here a stopper knot like the first knot that we tied at the beginning of this video there and that's not going to pull through but i've still got my slide i've still got my slip knot there and that can be useful in some in some snares some snare designs if you're making traps with natural cordage then that's that's something that can be used um, to, to good effect but again just requires a very simple knot used in two different two different ways so just to recap around and over and through that is one of the simplest knots to tie if not the simplest knot to tie and yet it's also one of the most useful and if you know that one it provides a really good foundation for learning all your other knots i hope that serves you well the overhand knot really is extremely useful and you can find all sorts of applications for it and all sorts of variants on on a theme um, let us know in the comments um, underneath the video what you use this knot for if you've got any interesting uses and if you like this video please go over to paulkirtley.co.uk where you'll find many more articles and videos giving you really good tips and advice on your outdoor life bushcraft and survival skills um, if you if you do go over there also make sure you sign up for my um, email newsletter because um, I send out regular tips and advice and also if you sign up you'll get 20 free videos just like this one straight away I'll send you them straight away so go over to paulkirtley.co.uk and check it out um, thanks for watching the video I appreciate your attention and I'll see you on the next one